is paired up with the Athens Regional. Georgia back-to-back -back times hosting regionals for the first time, 28-3 and three at home this season. They'll face the Mercer Bears, the champs out of the SoCon. Kel Johnson, 22 home runs. They beat Wofford twice to get into the field. And Florida State, 57th appearance, 42 straight regionals, longest active streak. Mike Martin's career, the head coach of Florida State, will end in the NCAA tournament. Perhaps some questions about that, some consternation about that. But Mike Martin into the field, and there's the team. Retiring after 40 years as the head coach, more than 2,000 wins. And we'll talk to Mike Martin a little bit later on in the show as they resume their seats and find out <laughs> who they're going to play. The Florida Atlantic Owls, their fourth appearance in the last five seasons, highest scoring team in Conference USA. Yeah, Mike Martin, 40 seasons as a skipper, 40 regionals. Really just amazing. Georgia is a, a team with extreme pitching and efficient offense. They play great defense. Emerson Hancock, their ace, the favorite to be the first pick in the 2020 draft. So we had an all Pac-12 potentially a super regional, all Big 12 super regional, all SEC potentially super regional, and how about another all SEC potentially Super Regional here. Baton Rouge and Athens Regional winners will face off in the best two out of three. Notes from the selection process and how it all turned out. SEC tied the tournament record 10 teams and four top eights. Florida State, Mike Martin's final season. We'll hear from Mike Martin later on in the show. College World Series begins June 15th. Mike Martin and Florida State hoping that Coach Martin's career ends there in the College World Series, retiring after 40 seasons at the helm. And Mike Martin joins us now. Uh, Coach, uh, I wonder how you were feeling coming into today, knowing that in your final year as head coach of Florida State, the Knowles were squarely on the bubble. I'll tell you right now, Matt, it's very much of a relief. In fact, it reminds me of the time I was lining up a 15-footer to keep from four-putting. <laughs> Mike Martin, uh, what has this season been like for you? coach getting to your final tour getting honored at ACC schools and now getting to go to the NCAA tournament what's the experience been like it's very humbling man it's a situation in which you just don't expect it but yet everywhere that we went the coach the AD it was just so heartwarming that people would come out and applaud and, and appreciate this great game of college baseball and I'm very proud that I was a part of it. Mike? Think about Omaha and when you think about the College World Series, how would you describe Omaha and the CWS? KP, it's the heartland of America. It's, it's the spot where memories are made. Every young man that ever puts on that uni in college baseball, Division I has one dream, and that's to get to TD Ameritrade. We are one of those teams. We're excited that we were chosen. We know that we've got a lot of work to do, but we've still got a chance. Uh, Eleven, you got a big group of really critical freshmen. No one's been to more regionals than you. you, you know, how do you get that young group to play their best baseball this weekend? Runes, we played great this past weekend. I was very pleased with the poise that we showed. A couple of hiccups along the way, but sometimes that's just something you have to be able to roll through. The game against NC State a couple of nights ago was certainly important for us, and I think our guys showed what they're all about at that point. Mike Martin, we are also relieved that uh, your career will end in the NCAA tournament in the field of 64 and looking forward to watching the end of the journey. Thank you very much, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you, Matt, and thanks to all you guys for promoting college baseball the way you do, and a great job again with the show. Appreciate that. Uh, Coach Martin, thanks for all you have done, certainly, for the sport of college baseball. Uh, he was hired back in 1975 as an assistant coach at Florida State for $2,000. Now he's got more than 2,000 wins. Here he is, and his career is going to end. Hopefully in Omaha, we shall see. Just the legend of all legends, really just incredible, the career, and never missed a regional. 40 years as a head coach, never, ever missed a regional. It's just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, KP.
Yeah, and in a time to to where I mean, winning 40 games is something that that <laughs> not everybody does. He's done it every year that he's been there. Uh, the run that Mike Martin it has, and 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 honestly, the impact that he's had on the game, and the impact that he's had on on not just the kids that played for him, but those of us that have been fortunate enough to know him along the way. Uh, it is it is right and good to see him back in the NCAA tournament. We're trying to keep that streak of 40 win seasons uh, alive as well. They got 36 wins, so a handful more to go here along the road to Omaha. Friday's opening.